Hello, I just want to video this little praying mantis I've got on me. Oops, how can I do this? Come around here, little one. Come around here, little one. I just found him and he, in the house and he had cobwebs on him, so I've just got all the cobwebs off him. So this is a praying mantis. Oh, sorry, it's wobbly. I'm getting it right. He's a praying mantis. You can see I've still got a little bit of fluff on the end of his front leg there that I'll help him get off. And they're just absolutely beautiful. And they should be out in the trees. So I'll take him downstairs, but I thought I'd share him with you for the people who don't see them in their part of the world. And they do fly. And when they start off, they're just such tiny little babies, as small as a, smaller than an ant, and almost clear. I had one on me the other day, and they are very lovely. And they're also called a stick creature, because as you can imagine, once they're in a tree, you can't tell the difference between them and a, a stick. Whoa, I'm trying to actually get down the stairs and get him off me. <laughs> Come on darling. Come on darling. No, this way I'll put you in a tree. There we go. Is that safe there? Do you like that? And there we have him in a tree. In my little palm here. And you can see why we call him a stick creature. So that is our praying mantis, a stick creature, and I'm sure there's even more names.